Hi there, I'm Chris Bunch from AppScale Systems, and today we'll be doing a demo of how to install AppScale from source on a virtual machine. For this demo, we'll be using VirtualBox and Vagrant to interact with our virtual machine. Let's begin by looking at our Vagrant file to see how our virtual machine is created. Here we have one virtual machine that uses an Ubuntu Lucid image and has a static IP that we can SSH into. We then can type Vagrant up to start our virtual machine. And if the machine doesn't already exist, it will be created for us. So our machine has been created and is now being started up. This also starts up SSH on port 22, so we can log into it as we need to. Our machine then proceeds to boot up. Okay. So now our machine is booted up. We then can log into our machine by typing in vagrant SSH. We then sudo to root and proceed to install git, which we need to get AppScale. Once this finishes installing, then we can grab AppScale's main and tools branches from GitHub and install them. So let's begin by grabbing AppScale. This Git URL always posts the latest and greatest app scale, so we definitely recommend using this URL as opposed to any other branches. So this install will cover how to just install a particular data store, although we also can install different data stores as we like. AppScale, out of the box, supports HBase, Hypertable, Cassandra, and a number of other data stores. Okay, so it looks like we've got our app scale source from GitHub all checked out. So now we can cd into the app scale Debian directory. And if we type in bash app scale build, that will build all of app scale with all of the databases, hypertable, hbase, and so on. But if we want to build just one database, like Cassandra, we can type in Cassandra in right here. Let's do that for this example. This will go grab a number of packages from apt as well as installing Cassandra and our other friends from source. This can take probably about 20 minutes or so. So go get a cup of coffee and we'll come back in just a moment. And we're back. So as we can see, we've installed Cassandra successfully, our interface to it, which uses PyCasa, and it says app scale installation completed successfully. With that, let's go back to our home directory and install the app scale tools. The app scale tools are used if users need to add additional nodes to their system or run AppScale. So if you're running an EC2 or Eucalyptus and you want to bundle an image with this, you should definitely install the AppScale tools. So we've got our tools checked out. Let's go to AppScale tools, Debian, just like before, and type bash appscale build.sh. So once again, this updates our mirrors, our Ubuntu mirrors, and it'll install any extra packages that we need to talk to EC2, Eucalyptus, and so on. This installation is quite a bit faster than the main installation because there's substantially less to install. So this one should be almost done. Okay, and that about wraps this installation. So here we've installed Bodo to talk to Eucalyptus, and then finally we wrap this up by installing the EC2 tools if they're not already installed on your machine. And now our tools installation has completed successfully. So with that, you've got an Ubuntu Lucid image that has AppScale installed on it. Here we've installed Cassandra, but if you had changed the build command to instead of say Cassandra, say that, that would have installed all of them. You then can copy this image and make multiple VMs if you like. Or if you're on EC2, you can upload this AMI and then start AppScale from there. This concludes this demo of how to install AppScale from source on a VirtualBox machine. Thank you, and please feel free to leave us any comments or suggestions below.